The rumor is that Abraham Lincoln stayed few nights in no this cabin. No way. Wow, look at that. It still goes up and down. It still goes up. You see that? Hey everybody, in today's video we're going to be reacting to a channel called The Zaitsevs. Probably butchering that, but I just found these guys. Lindsay actually found them and recommended them to me. I'm going to subscribe. The video we're going to be reacting to today is called I Bought an Abandoned Log Cabin That Was Built in 1780. Holy cow, that is a long time ago. Let's check it out. Today's a good day to show you what it looks inside of this cabin. This is the third building that is on this property. Wow. And uh, let me tell you, it was built in 1780s approximately. That's the, that's the date of this building. The rumor is that Abraham Lincoln stayed few nights in no this cabin. No way. How cool that is. This was passed down. No way. Okay, I, I looked at the uh, notes on their channel. It said they're either in North or South Carolina, so... I don't know where they're from, but uh, but they're in South Carolina or North Carolina now. From generation to generation, since uh, the owner of this property was the general in the army, and this land was uh, given by the government to him wow. way back. So this was the first building on this property. Wow. So let's see how it looks inside. Yeah. Before we go inside, I want to show you the foundation actually was built out of rocks and also the steps were built out of boulders. They're huge, they're massive. Uh, and uh, that's, that's when you know this was built way back when. Let me show you actually the fireplace and how it was built and how it's still standing. This is so amazing. I love an old rock fireplace. I, it's nothing like it. I wish I could do that kind of work. Maybe in the future I can find someone to teach me how to do this magnificent work. Look at the massive rocks that were placed together. They were put together. They were dragged all the way up and they're still sitting there. They're still standing. Check this massive rock and the porch wow. sits right on top of this massive rock. They didn't have foundation. This was the foundation. This was the build. This is how they built it back in the day. I mean, honestly, they found a boulders and they just placed them under the porch or under the house. And this is the way they built things back then. I mean, look, 300 plus years or something like that, 250 plus years, and it's still standing. This as well another boulder this is the foundation of this house and they have a crawl space it's incredible really to think about that that's been sitting there for over 250 years i have not been Almost. down there i'm somewhat hesitant to go there but i'll have to one of these days so check out this small door i'm about five foot eight and this door is literally if you see it it's not it's no more than six foot and only reason why because people ask why such a small doors well because back in the day they didn't have a good heating system so they did not want to build such a large doors for the heat to escape so that's why they built it smaller doors wow i never uh, i never really thought about that i've always just assumed that the people were smaller back then i know that they kind of were but um yeah that makes a lot of sense less area for the hot heat and the cold to pass through so the heat stays in the house because as you know, heat rises up and stays up. So that's why they built smaller door. Wow. Wow. Check out this massive fireplace. And uh, we still have this hook for a pot. Wow. This this was used uh, to hang a pot and cook your meal. How cool that is. Very cool. Yeah, still still intact, still here. So hopefully we'll continue cooking some meals. Nice. Wow, look at that. Massive fireplace, massive 
Uh, this is, uh, I would say, a one bedroom, maybe two to three people used to live in this house because you only have this one upper bedroom, uh, you have a kitchen, this is the living quarters, and then you also have one restroom. Uh, so for two to three people, uh, I believe this would uh, accommodate. Check out the... I'm sure there was many more people living in that home back in those days. Um, at least a home that size could easily hold a family of eight or ten, I would imagine. These uh, windows. Wow. They're actually... They have some latches. I'm not sure, but... This is good. <laughs> Once it goes up, it does not come down. We'll be back after these commercials. <laughs> I love this lady's sense of humor. Anyways, <laughs> this is a stopper and it got stuck. It got stuck, <laughs> which is all right. I'm gonna have to fix this. It looks, yeah, it looks, it looks like a clay. He pulled some of the chinking off the wall, dang. It breaks like a clay. It's not a cement. It is clay. Yeah, that's uh, that's some red clay if I've ever seen any. So this was used uh, to insulate and close the gaps inside uh, inside of these walls. So so the heat and uh, everything else not gonna penetrate through the walls. Uh, but just imagine how cool this is. Just imagine 250 plus years and this building is still standing. It's still rigged. It's still in original state. It still has this beautiful feel. It does not smell uh, because, well, number one, I believe because of all the ventilation that went through this house. I mean, it still has a good vibe to it. Uh, so, wow, it's really big actually. Right in here, they have a kitchen. Uh, they have a kitchen. I think this was the dining room, uh, but the kitchen, all the all the appliances, it looks like they're from either 70s or 60s. Uh, 1970s, not 1770s. Uh, this, oh wow, I did not know this. This is a compact kitchen, so basically this is your refrigerator. And whatever that was. <laughs> you did body rest. No, this <laughs> bunch of disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I guess squirrels were living here as well. Look at these doors. Just I want you to look how cool they are. I love it. I love it. They're built literally from wood. Everything is so original. Everything is so easy, simple, but Creative. But practical, yeah, practical. Look at this. Look, you, you got a finished look. You got a finished uh -huh. look from this side, and then you got a rigged look from this side, because nobody's gonna see it anyways, right? Nobody's gonna see it, so it's all closed. I wonder why this big gap is here. Um, surely it wasn't designed that way. It looks like it's kind of pulled apart or something, but maybe it was, I don't know. Maybe that's just the venting, but it looks like it could rain right down through there. I like how the rafters go through the roof right there. It's really cool. Okay, so this is a door for outside. And you can see either the door moved or <laughs> this lock moved. You can see how out of line they are. You see this is where this thing was supposed to be here, but they're so out of line because because this floor moved. Oh my goodness, I just thought about metal detecting in this yard. Guys, if you see this, can I please come to your house and do some metal detecting? <laughs> and everything else moved, moved with it as well. Let's go upstairs. I'm going to show you how please. upstairs look. Please do. Before we go upstairs, there's also a small little closet. Wow. Here. 
when you're walking on these stairs, it seems like you're gonna fall because house has shifted, so the stairs also somewhat unlevel. So you're walking somewhat lopsided. So this is your bathroom. There's a cool cast iron wow. tub. And right here, I believe this is where they slept because uh, this is the uh, only space uh, that you would you would see suitable for a bed. Then they also had a small closet for their clothes. I should say this video, I, I didn't look at how long it is, but it's old, it's an older video. And these guys are still currently making videos on this property and of this uh, restoration. So I'm totally hooked, so. That looks a little newer in there. It looks like it's maybe been redone or something, but maybe not. But check out these things, man. They are pretty cool. So this is the back of the house and uh, as you see, everything is still somewhat intact. I mean, yes, they are caving. This uh, house is shifting, so we're gonna have to do something about this. Wow. Uh, you see this big beam is out of place and actually is dry rotter, so I'm gonna have to replace it to pick the house up and replace it. Ooh. But this, is, was, this was your foundation. What a job that is gonna be of rocks that was it I mean this is how the houses were built they brought some rocks they found rocks and they use this as foundation uh, this was their steps big boulders as well and they found big boulders they brought them I don't know how they did it uh, probably lots of mules some manpower and uh, horses or mules yep. something like that but that was their steps this is very very awesome very interesting sure is. how they used to build houses back in the day i do want to pick this house up level it out uh, change some of the beams and um, restore everything that is breaking wow. apart to have this beautiful beautiful structure to continue to stand so we can enjoy this and also our kids and everybody else can enjoy this house what a challenge to take on and it's such a good thing that he's doing that and you know saving the history that's really cool okay check this out this is literally next to the house they have all these boulders all these rocks I think they brought some extra rocks and uh, they just never used them. Uh, so they're still here. And uh, yeah, I can, I can use them for my foundation. What a simple little design, but just so cool. You know, it's just the same joints all the way up the side. Pretty much this is uh, where it gets difficult because it looks like this is where it goes for that upper floor. And this one's a little weird, but hey, it all worked out. Super, super cool cabin. Thanks for watching this video. This video has come to the end. Aww. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe. Consider subscribing to be part of our family. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and comment on the video. Listen, your input is always needed. 
by the way we're gonna be doing lots of episodes about restoring this property this particular cottage so if you like this kind of content stay tuned stay tuned to these videos they're coming up very very soon thanks for watching till next time I like how the stuff that is has been modernized um, is like not too invasive maybe they haven't just like destroyed all the stuff to run like modern day electric and stuff in there it looks like he can kind of take some of that stuff and go back to original I don't know if he's gonna modernize the house or if he's gonna go like strictly uh, original but I think the restoration would be in its best interest versus uh, versus being modernized anyways uh, if you guys enjoyed the video maybe check out this video and come back tomorrow because we'll watch something else see you then